In our tech report, Jeff Hammond, crew chief for Darrell Walters Western Auto Chevrolet, demonstrates how to set up a car for qualifying. Hi, this is Jeff Hammond, crew chief for the Western Auto Chevrolet. And I'm here today to answer the question a lot of race fans ask me all the time, what's the difference between a race setup and a qualifying setup? And how do you really get the maximum speed out of this car? Well, I'm gonna give you an idea of what we do here at the 17 car. Every week when we go to the racetrack to try to make our best qualifying run, and we can. First off, you know, we have to go through a deal of trying to get the car aerodynamically slick. So what we do is we get a roll of du uh, duct tape. This is an old duct tape like you get your regular hardware store. And we'll block off all this grill area up here in the front. The oil cooler as well as the radiator. And this right here makes all the air go over the car and rather than go through the car, which you know, makes drag on it, makes the car run a little slower. We also, because the car you know, will tend to have a tendency to run a little bit warmer, we cool the car down to the, to the bare minimum. We run ice cold water through the engine and get it down to where the block and everything is just ice cold and can make the most amount of horsepower. Also, trying to make sure we get the maximum horsepower out of it, we'll take what a normal, which everybody else runs is a normal pitch fan, which draws air through the car, and put on the flat fan. NASCAR requires us to run a, flat, a fan of some sort, so we put on a flat fan, which doesn't pull any air through the thing, the radiator as well as the engine area, and also maximizes the, the horsepower of the engine. We also like to take and lean the car down as much as possible. This also increases the horsepower in the engine. And we also take the time and light and increase uh, the timing on the car to where also we can get that acceleration up off the corner when you get ready to get back in the throttle. The driver's got that instant response that he's looking for. Any kind of air cavity on the side of the car that we can block off, such as an aqueduct for the driver and the rear end coolers, we'll have a, a cover that will go over those also to make all the air we can go over the car rather than going in the car and creating drag on the car. From time to time, we'll also uh, lay the rear spoiler back a few degrees. Most of the time, we run 65 degrees of rear spoiler when we're getting race trim. And during qualifying, we may knock that back to 55. That will also, you know, make the car go down the straightaway as fast as possible. And when we're really looking for the car to be free through the corner also. So this is just a few of the things that we run into, you know, week in and week out to help, you know, make our car go faster for qualifying. Uh, we also, when we get down to the chassis part of it, We'll take the tires and we may even inflate them a few extra pounds to make sure they have less rolling resistance. You know, a flatter tire, anybody seen a flat tire on a car, you know how it just kind of makes the car drag that speed down. You blow them up a little bit tighter, the car run, rolls freer, freer through the corner. Also, we have a dry sump pump on the rear end that also, you know, takes away horsepower, which we like to take that uh, V-belt loose to where we can get the most amount of horsepower. Horsepower is, is the main thing we're going after and any kind of aerodynamic drag that we possibly can get rid of that's what we're looking to do on these cars. And I'm not the only one that does it. All the other crew chiefs up and down pit road, they're looking for whatever they can do to make their cars roll freer through the corners and go faster down the straightaways. And I'm Jeff Hamill, the Western Auto Team. Glad to have you with us.